Hello, this is Caters, and today we are going to take a look on how to convert your Xbox save state over to the PC version. This was not possible until just recently, so this is pretty cool. First off, what you need to do is download a program called Modio. Just download that and install it. I've already got it installed. Hooray! So, I'm going to open it up. And you're going to be like, holy crap, I don't know what to click on. It's okay. You're going to click on open to save. Now, you're going to go to your, your flash drive here. And pretty much you're just going to put your Minecraft save on the flash drive on the Xbox itself. And then plug it right into your computer. Click on that. And it's like, Minecraft, we're going to click on that. And it's like, hmm, which one of these are we going to put on there? Okay, let's try this one. New World 33. And this is um, just like a screenshot saying of what game you're playing. This is not my creation. So now we're going to go down to Advanced. And then we're going to hit Edit Package Contents. We're not going to edit anything on the Xbox, so all you people are like, Oh my god, it's against the terms of service! No, it's not. Calm your panties. Jeez. Right-click it, and hit Save As. This does not save it on the flash drive. You're just saving it to your computer. I'm going to save it to a place called Minecraft to Convert, which I already have it, so I'll just save it again. As New World 33... Part, if I can type, geez, part two. Okay. Now we're done with Mario. Goodbye, Mario. And now we're like, oh no, I don't know what to do now. Okay, now we need to download the converter. It is this place, um, a source forge, open source unit, uh, long URL. Here's a tiny URL. Tinyurl.com slash Minecraft converter. Type that in. And... It will take you to this page, download the zip, your download will start in a few seconds, and then save it to wherever. Boom. Okay. Um, I already have it saved and opened, obviously, so I will go to where I saved it to, which is Minecraft Xbox to PC. And it's going to look like this. Kind of. This one's not going to be there. So what you want to, what you want to do is delete this save game, because that's the author save game. Um, now we're going to go to where we saved that one too, which was Minecraft to Convert. And we saved it as New World 33 Part 2, right? So now we're going to drag it over to Minecraft Xbox PC make fold, main to PC folder. And now we're going to rename it. You have to rename it save game dot dat. If you don't have extensions like the dot dat enabled because of crappy Windows 7 crap, go to tools, folder options, view, and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types why they did this i don't know they're stupid okay so now that we have this we're going to hit convert dot bat click and sometimes it errors out and sometimes it doesn't so um just keep trying it so that it doesn't get any errors actually there's going to be one error at the end but it's going to be a good error and i'll tell you about that and it usually just takes a couple minutes um, so now, so now I'm going to tell you some more stuff, I guess. Um, there's going to be some lighting issues. You can fix that and make edit, just relight the entire map. Um, you can paste these into other PC worlds or other converted Xbox worlds. Um, we're trying to, uh, mash up the entire, uh, Xbox, all our Xbox worlds and all our PC worlds. Make sure this is recording. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was going to be like, wow, if it wasn't recording for some reason. Um, 
What else can I tell you? Sometimes it messes up some chunks. Um, I don't know. This this program is really like hit or miss. It really needs to be refined. It would be cool if it had a graphic user interface, but it is just a dot .bat for now. Um, sometimes there's an error that you have to install visual basic something or another 2012 redistribu redistributable it was like a mvcr 110.dll or something like that in the system32 and syswow64 folders so that could be a possible error um, you probably want to have Java runtime developer kit thingy not installed because that gave me programs when or programs it gave me problems when I had it installed. Uh, I uninstalled it and no problems. Um, this converts it to the Anvil format, which Minecraft used back in version 1.1. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it in version 1.1 and then like gradually open it up in versions higher than that like you might be able to go straight to 1.7 or something but every time I try that it messes up so we're gonna just play it the safe way I don't know what else to say um leave me a comment say just tell me how, how you're doing today what did you have for lunch um How's your brother? What color's your cat? I don't know. I like random comments. Um, probably gonna have a PC world open to the public one of these days. I need to get a static IP. Set that up someday, probably. I don't know. Got a really old computer that I might be able to set up a server on, or maybe maybe laptop. I don't know. We'll see. Cause kind of running a computer twenty four seven is a little a little bit expensive. I think I I did the math on it and it was like I don't know one hundred and fifty bucks a year or something. No, I had I'm thinking it was more than that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just talking because watching this window go by is boring. So... I don't know. Do you guys like my, my pineapple background? It's a monster from MMORPG Trickster Online, which I sold my soul to for six years. And then it shut down. And then I was free. <gasps> and now I'm in the world of in school and slave to that. Especially the, the work part. Fast food's terrible. It's even worse when you have people that are terrible. But if you have people that are nice, it's a little bit more bearable. I also worked retail and that was okay I kind of want to get back in there but it doesn't matter because we're done hooray now you will see there is an error here I told you about earlier it says Java anvil converter Java is not recognized as an internal or external command la 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 and that part of the program is borked so don't worry about it we're done key press any key to continue now we're gonna go into the bin folder and it created a folder called temp world. We're going to right click, copy it. We are going to go up to your username, which is my kitten versus a praying mantis and the kitten one. Long story. Roaming dot Minecraft saves paste. Okay. Open Minecraft. Log in and everything if you haven't logged in yet. Um, you're going to want to go down to Edit Profile. Use version release 1.1. Save profile. Play.
Now we're going to go to single player. And here um, it's going to show converted world even though it was not converted or anything. Um, temp world survival mode. So we're going to click it and then hit play selected world. And it's going to do some conversion stuff. And he, here we are now playing inside of the Xbox 360 world that we just extracted from the flash drive. Now, you will usually spawn somewhere weird. You will not spawn in the normal safe, the normal spot you spawn in. So, we are going to exit and try and open it in a higher version of Minecraft so maybe we can get uh, creative mode and flying and all that fun stuff. Edit profile. Mm, I'm gonna go to 1.4.2. We'll see if it works on there. I don't have 1.4.2 downloaded right now, so it's gonna take a sec. And download that. Oops. I did not want that. Okay, single player. Must be converted. Now we're going to click on it, and hopefully it's going to convert it. It might crash. Yeah, it's going to get stuck on converting world. Um, if you go under your uh, crash logs, right there, crash reports, it's going to have uh, some errors. So, and this is where this conversion gets kind of hit and miss, trial and error sort of thing. Oop. Let's try 1.3.1. .1. We'll see if it'll work on that. See, it converted to this one. So it is really, it is honestly, completely, and totally hit or miss, and it's often ridiculous. Okay, and now we can fly. It's randomly. I don't know. Uh, let's go up higher in version again. I think it might be converted, so let's use 1.6.4 since 1.7 definitely has some bugs with these sorts of worlds. Like, we got everything converted and everything, and, and like you're playing on 1.7 and you're playing, all of a sudden it's just like CRASH! If you look down here, it's all like, play at 1.6.4 because there's going to be some crash and stuff. And you're like, great. Thanks for that. Yeah, so after you explore in 1.6.4 everything, everything should be ready to go in 1.7 once you get it converted. If you want to fix some stuff or look at some stuff, you can download a program called McEdit or MC Edit, whatever you call it. Um, Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, you can use this program to integrate your 360 world into the PC world, or just edit it in general, or whatever you want. So you hit open, find your save, hit level dot dat, not the Xbox, and it'll open in camera view. We're going to hit chunk view and it's going to show us the whole world. If you see that, that vertical line kind of weird thing going in the center there, that's one of the messed up chunks. Sometimes this happens. Just keep trying and messing with it and you'll your chunk will get fixed. Or maybe it won't. Either way. Uh, this is an excellent program for viewing a giant map of your whole world. This is my 360 map um, that I converted as you can see the light is really messed up so if you select everything in chunk view not in camera view in chunk view 
and then hit relight. It'll take a couple seconds. Uh, for the whole world, it's going to take several minutes. And then it will fix the lighting for that area. It do You don't have to fix it if you don't want to. It's just kind of annoying. Um, if we go back into camera view here, you see the lighting is fixed in the area that we selected. Okay, one more thing before I go to bed because it's freaking 6.30 in the morning and I'm tired. This is our PC world right here. And we integrated the three, our 360 world into the PC world. And I shall show you. Um, this is just a camera view of our PC world. It's got horse stables and hoppers and all that cool fun stuff. And down in this area south of our PC world is where I inputted our 360 map. Um, this is one of the towns linked by the train station. Uh, my giant Walmart, which is unfinished. And if we go directly to the west of here, we will get to the 360 area. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tell me what your favorite color is in the comments, because yeah. Bye.